Good for a loss of a yard. Here's Watson now on second down. Throwing right side. That's complete to Marius Thomas. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill out the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now Watson. Room here to run on the crossing route. He hits Demarius Thomas. Touchdown, Houston. Demarius Thomas, 58 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Jackson now to return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's we'll see if they dial it up this drive. And some space here. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Right back to him on first down. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Brandon, their last miss on third down, they actually were able to alleviate it because they picked it up with a fourth down conversion. I don't know that they'd be wise to try and do that again here. To me, you got to punt the ball away. This offense converted once already in this first quarter. They're going to try it again here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. 
We just saw what a lot of teams call a heavy set. Tiger, tiger, Three tiger. tight ends in the game. That signifies they want to run tiger, the football. Tiger, tiger. Yeah, occasionally they'll play action and throw it, but most of the time, those guys on the field means strength, power, run the ball behind them. And this is caught, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Two first-quarter touchdown passes now for Deshaun Watson, and the Texans are in for six. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was the prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We've had the kickoff to begin the first quarter. Now it's time for the second quarter kickoff. And they've got it here with a first down. Here we go 46, 46. Here we go 48, 46. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time, we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A-gap blitz? But well, where is the A-gap? It's the space between the center and the guards, either side. So when you're having a double A-gap blitz, that's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A-gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Got some real estate inside the 30. Pass the 20. <coughs> Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. 45 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 23. To throw is Watson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of four there. Bringing up second down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all percent, the percent, difference. Percent. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Out of the gun, Watson flush to his right. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. They are going for it. Here's Watson. Flushed out right. Looking deep for Demarius. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. to Elliott. What a spin. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. They'll run with Elliott. Runs through the contact. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. The Cowboys on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. It's coming now. You're going 27, 27. 26. Prescott to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will push the lead up to five. So not sure how they feel about that. They had golden field position to start the drive after the fumble recovery, but they went backward and then got three. Well, let's go from gold to silver, because the silver lining is they got the three, right? You were talking about the golden field position. They didn't take advantage of it. That has to feel like a letdown. You always stand ready to pounce. <laughs> always. Black 99, feel it! Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Three down, three down. Hey. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another four. It's caught inside the 25. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Lamar Miller taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans are in for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure 
If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Elliott. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first and ten, Prescott. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. The Texans' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock. Now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. And that's a good sign right there as we start the third quarter because in the first half, not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? You know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustment. You know the game plan, been working on it all week. Maybe a little tweak here or there, a little bit better blocking, and now you're establishing the running game. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He got 29 yards that time. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a first down throw, Watson. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Watson now to throw underneath for Miller. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down, here's Watson, eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. You gotta be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10 yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Thomas has got it, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they've rallied and made the tackle. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. They will indeed snap it to Watson. The quick slant caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Try and run for it with Miller. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Back now in Houston. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Here's Watson on the sneak, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead is up to five. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. This one caught left side by Cooper. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A very solid gain of 27. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? touchdown but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one the gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal they'll try to run it in with Elliott and he'll get in touchdown Cowboys Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away and the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter 46, 46. Prescott now. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one. You want to make it a field goal difference, if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got to play some defense down the stretch. Yeah, not much margin for air now for your D. They just have to get it into range. And now out comes Houston. And yeah, that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown look pretty good so they'll be hoping to do that once more and it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach they felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive and we'll see if they can do just that now the first play of the drive there is incomplete i hope i don't sound too rah-rah on that one but that's the exact right throw either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Black 99 Billy. Black 22. Black 22. On second and 10, Watson. Throw left side complete. It's Griffin. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. The Texans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Watson, off play action. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Tyrone Crawford in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. Demarius Thomas. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That is incomplete. Appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield and try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. He was going to his left. A little bit tougher. Exactly. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. to throw 
flush to his right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. 46, 46. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. Cooper was the target there. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Watson's going to throw it here. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Now it's Watson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Prescott now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now Prescott. Throw right side taken in by Gallup. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. One last shot now for Prescott. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just on the cash in. There the it end. is. Not close an game, easy close play game, by any close stretch. Game. They definitely had a chance. Like you've just seen, like you've seen, ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. That's what it is.
So that'll Break do down. it for my partner, Thanks. Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm yeah, Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL all on good, EA though. Sports. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. It's a win for the Mike Texans, as moving, we say though. so long from Houston. We out of here. Yeah.